this is really a love letter to mom and dad. It really is. I'm such a spoiler when I get excited about things and <laughs> I, I rip through them so fast. But I mean, the, the love story that you share with everyone that predated either of your births, you know, yes. is just so rich. And the whole book reads like a film. What was the process like for you guys? Because it's written in such an interesting way. It is a page turner because Ron will write a couple pages, then Clint will write a couple pages. And they're parallel in that they're about the same time, but they're in such different voices. Oh, wow. Well, we are five years apart. Yeah. You know, and so our perspectives were different. And I was always encouraged to, to pitch in and give my two cents in the family <laughs> and everything. And it, this is really a love letter to mom and dad. It really is. But the back and forth has always been easy for us. And look, I'm the older brother. From the moment Clint was born, when he arrived from the hospital, he, <laughs> he was always a jokester. He had one eyebrow raised, a little smirk on his face. He had He's always me, been funny. I'm going to tell him one. He had me at pee pee and hee hee. Oh. <laughs> so he comes out one day and pees on Ron. This is one of Ron's stories. And well, Ron let's, put, let's be clear. He was, oh, he, was, he was 16 months old. He was a baby. <laughs> uh, yeah. no, no, not as a grown person. Of course. <laughs> so Ron is like, Dad, go spank him. And he's like, we can't spank him. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's a kid. <laughs> and he starts giggling, and he goes off to get cleaned up. And he comes back, and you start giggling again. And I'm like, yes! And from, from then on, he, from then on, through that moment, I, I, I called him the hee hee man. But he's always had that sense of humor. And it's there in the right. And the hee still there. <laughs> and Clint had me at that. I'm like, that's my boy. That's my baby. I, I mean, it's just such a pleasure. And I love the story, just to give you an idea of why this, this family is so idyllic to me. When your dad is in a touring company, you do this bit, you were three, right? Right, yes. Where you could run lines with him from the play that you had been watching daddy do, right? Right, right. So this gets him noticed because they, they do this little bit, father, son, together. But it doesn't mean that he can, you know, act doing anything. Right. So the family, mom and dad, they make a boom out of his sand pail from the sandbox, and his mom makes a camera out of the cereal box because they want to like well, I, teach him not to be upset on the on on the set, and they teach him method acting at three. Where's your well, character coming from? Where's he going to? I was like, well, ah! Well, look, the, the, thank you. It's the. the Look, the remarkable thing about it all is that they, they, they weren't trying to get us into the business and be our managers. Right. They served that purpose. You know, it was their dream to, be, to, to act, and that's what, they, that's what they continued to pursue. But I think Dad recognized from that very first time, and when I started picking up on dialogue, yeah. that I did have an aptitude, and, and, Cl and Clint showed that very early as well, and that this was an opportunity for us to learn something, to learn how to excel at something, and that he wanted us to have the fundamentals. He didn't want us to be per little performing no. cu cutie pies who and just Clint could get by. And speaks so well to that yeah. in, in, in the book that about the difference of child actors and, and the, the groups, and you weren't going to be in this group, you were going to be in this group. Yeah. Well, you know, and we were really lucky because we started so young. Yeah. We just, we, we learned the process sort of by osmosis, mm. like the, the being rattled on the set or you know, being distracted by the boom mic. Those were things that dad instinctively knew that we had to tackle. It wasn't yeah. just learning lines. Yeah. And in fact, it was never about learning lines. Mm -hmm. It was preparing the emotions for the day's work. And the preparation is the key. You'll totally get understand this, of course. But preparation is, is everything. That's the gift he gave us, was yeah. to understand that. And, and, and then, we kind of made it look easy. <laughs>